what's going on YouTube? Back again with another video for you guys. Today I'm going to be doing a highly requested video. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some guitar samples. Something you'd see Q Beats or like uh, something off of the Perfect 10 album from DJ Mustard, like the Spanish guitar, like nav type beats. So we're going to jump into FL Studio, open a contact library, and I'm going to show you guys how to get down into it. All right, so we're in FL Studio. I got the BPM set to 100. And, and I already got some banks open. I got this contact bank open. It is just this uh, Evolution Modern Nylon guitar bank. I know a lot of people use this for this exact video. I also got a Omnisphere bank open, which is just a piano. I'm gonna load here for a second. Yep, so I just got the LA Custom C7 Classical piano pulled up, and then I got two contact banks. Uh, this is just an Ethno World. It is a, find the, oh, there we go, it's a bamboo flute. And then I got another flute open right here, the Jewel flute from Embertone. So first thing I'm gonna do for this is just jump into this contact bank and lay down some keys. So my goal here is just try and find something that sounds like it's actually played from guitar and go for the Spanish vibe. So here's the pattern I laid down. All I'm gonna do is duplicate it over and then something you can do to make these guitar melodies sound a little better is just randomize the velocities. So I'm gonna just go like this. So you can just use your mouse. You can just use your mouse to make it mixed up a little bit or you can hit Alt R and just randomize the velocities like this, which is what I'm gonna do. So we're just trying to get some random in here and then I'm gonna just pull them down and then turn the volume up. 
and you, all you gotta do is just work through it and try and find like the notes that need to be higher, the notes that need to be lower. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll be right back. Okay, cool. So next thing I'm gonna do is just, I'm gonna open up this Omnisphere preset and I'm gonna just pretty much copy the chord progression. Alright, so the piano alone sounds like this. Super simple, but if you put it with the guitar, it just helps fill it out and it just brings some of the frequencies that the, the guitar was missing just back into that field. Next thing I'm gonna do is just work on this bamboo flute and try and see if I can find a little counter melody and work with this. Sounds like this. came up with the bamboo flute. Super simple, but it, I think it just really complements everything else. So a key that I always keep in mind when I'm using flutes is try and like, don't have all the notes touching each other. I have like a little, like a little gap in between. So it just, it, it builds like a little bit of suspense and uh, also do a lot of uh, the one sixth beat rolls. Those sound super fire. All right, so next thing I'm gonna do for this uh, entire melody is just work with this jewel flute and see if I can find anything else that mixes well with this.
part. Super simple again, it almost really, it kind of works with the bamboo flute, but it, it adds a little bit variation. So I don't know, I, I think it really ties well together. So here is the finished melody. All right, cool. So I'm gonna render this out and then I'm gonna start working on the drums for you guys. All right, so I got the drums down. I got like pretty much the whole project done. Uh, so I'll just break down how I did the drums. So I ended up pitching the melody up. It is pitched up, let's see, 200 cents. And then um, first I added a clap and a hi-hat, which sounds like this. So you can already tell it has like that, uh, that like perfect 10 nav Spanish guitar beat like vibe to it. So I think what I did next was I added these two snares, which just add a little bit of percussion in the background. And then the next thing I did was just the 808. And this is the part that really got me going. So this sounds, everything together sounds like this. And then um, I thought it would sound a little better just if the 808 was hitting with a hi-hat or an open hat, just because, uh, I don't know, when an 808 hits with an open hat, it sounds so much harder. So I'll let you guys listen with that. All right, and then for the second drop, I added like this percussion loop from Holy's Drum Kit called uh, Gang 86, and I just pitched it up 12 semitones and EQ'd the shit out of it, and it sounds like this. So you really can't notice it too much, but it just adds like some high-end frequencies that it'll help like change the vibe of the song a little bit. And then the only other thing I really added to this beat is uh, the initial drop. I have the 808 hit like two times and then there's like this little riser. So I'll, I'll let you guys listen to that. So if you guys did enjoy this video or if you learned anything, which I hope you did, this is one of my favorite tutorials I've done so far. Go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. Leave a comment. Tell me what you want to see next. Also, turn those bells on. That is it for this video. I'll see you guys soon. Peace out. Yeah. Turn it up, cute.